a Brampton, Ontario couple who started a podcast in their basement, now has more than half a million listeners, and they're helping solve cold cases. We take an investigative look into the tragic death of Tanner Barton, a case that remains open today, six years later, leaving a family desperately searching for answers. That is just a quick preview of one of the cases the podcast has covered. It's called The Minds of Madness. It has a mission. They want to bring a voice to the voiceless. And the co-creators are in studio with us this morning, Beck and Tyler Al Allen. Welcome. Thank you. Not only couple goals, but career goals for the two of you as well. Fantastic. Why did you decide to start a podcast, Tyler? Well, I, as a child, I was really fascinated by uh, old-time radio. I got into audiobooks. Get the great pipes. I, well, I <laughs> get the voice. Um, and uh, I started listening to podcasts uh, about, about three years ago. Mm -hmm. And I went through all the big mainstream ones and then started listening to the more independent, smaller uh, podcasts. And after going through them all, I thought, you know, maybe really might be interesting for me to try it myself. And in 2016, I said to Beck in, in, for Christmas, uh, I'd like a microphone. <laughs> and, uh, and she got me a, a microphone for my Christmas present, and we started, uh, started working on the show from there. Now, these are actual cold cases. So, Beck, how do you do your research? Well, they're not all cold cases. We've, we've had a couple people approach us with cold cases. The one that was just shown there, the mother actually approached me and she asked us to look into the case. She handed all the case files over to me. So autopsy, pictures, crime scene photos, toxicology reports. Wow. And I have like absolutely no Well, that's my question. Are, do either of you have a forensic or detective no, or investigative background? Not at so all. How did you know where to start? I didn't. <laughs> I just started looking through the files and, and with my limited understanding, uh, things just weren't making sense and I just started asking questions. And then I started reaching out to actual forensic specialists, asking them to explain things to me. And that's when I started seeing that there were missing pieces and it was the first time a couple of things were, were kind of noticed. And um, I started communicating with the detective. The, the case had been cold for six years. And was the detective comfortable talking about it with you? He, at first he wasn't because it had a, a lot of media attention. Nancy Grace um, was covering it. Dr. Oz was covering it. So he was a little bit skeptical, mm -hmm. but then this little unknown Canadian, you know, gently inquiring, he, he started responding and we started corresponding like every day to the point where I got um, the detective and the mother talking again. They hadn't talked in three years. Wow. Yeah. Incredible. I want to play our viewers a clip of one of your most popular uh, podcasts. This was the case of Tanner Barton. Have a listen. It's not clear what caused Tanner to collapse. Tanner's mother believes that Tanner's friends know more than they're saying. She wants the Howard County Sheriff's Office to step up their investigation so that this case does not stay a cold case. All right, so the case had gone cold. It has been reopened. This is partially because of your podcast. Give us an update. What's happening right now? Um, they've since called all the witnesses back in again that they interviewed six years ago and some that they didn't call in at all. Um, they've uh, started, they, they tested his phone for the first time, Tanner's phone. They had it forensically analyzed for the first time and they uh, recovered a whole bunch of deleted photos and texts. And, and so now they're just looking at everything from ground zero all over again. That is incredible. Have you guys become a bit of a lightning rod then for other people who said, hey, take a look at my case. We want you to look at ours. We, we have had some people approach us now. Um, since they've they've heard what we've done for the Tan, uh, for Tanner's family, yeah, yeah. Did you ever imagine, Tyler, when you started this and asked for a microphone for Christmas, that you'd be able to bring about this kind of change? Absolutely not. Now, when I first started, it was just me in the in the basement doing our <laughs> stories, um, and I was writing my own scripts and basically just going online, finding out information, um, and just trying to retelling stories that were already, were already done and, and solved. Um, and then once Beck got involved, uh, she started bringing in the families and, and working, with, uh, working with them. And, and as the show grew, we had more access to um, 
professionals yeah. and, and, and uh, you know, forensic specialists and, and, and just, it, it's, it's been incredible. Where do you two find the time to work on this? Because that's a huge amount of time. You have another job. Yeah, we both do. We both have, we both have wow. full-time jobs and kids. And it's when the kids go to bed, usually from like 9.30 till about 1, 1 o'clock in the morning is when we do a lot of our work. And we're on different, he, he's in the basement recording and I'm upstairs in the bedroom. Researching. Yeah, or talking on the phone yeah. with people. We Fascinating. talk a lot through text. Yeah. <laughs> in the same house. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations to you both. A reminder to everybody, it's called Minds of Madness, and it's fascinating to see what the two of you are accomplishing. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you.